All right, so let me tell you what's going on. Flew to New Orleans this morning and just checking out our rent car. Uh, we'll do something a little bit different. We're heading fishing. Clackamon Parish. We're going down Law 23, Highway 23. This was all filled up during Katrina. And we're going to go to a, what I think is the best fishing spot I've ever been to in the whole wide world. Seriously, and I've been, I fished all over the world. But consistently, this is the best fishing spot ever. And it's when we hit the water down here. So we're gonna run out of land here in about an hour. And we're gonna start fishing. Okay. This is gonna be home for the next couple of days. I'm fixing to introduce you to the Fish Intimidator. I almost oh, did forget no. all about you. <laughs> I'm going to give you a hug when you get down there. Okay, yeah. Instead, I'm going to give this guy. Well, I'm, I'll give you a hug. I'll give you a hug. No, no, no. no. You're going to get a little butt on you. You still alive? That's the fish intimidate. Okay. That's wrong. We uh, we knew each other a long time ago before he started playing with deer and farming. A long time ago. But we're fixing to go kick their ass now. <laughs> you might not know what a fish is anymore, but. I don't, I don't think I forgot. I promise you. So you caught some? Yeah, we're getting out of the just the meat. Look at that, the sheep head. Well, if they bite, we, we kill them. All right, that's good. Give them a little meat. But All right, good. A bunch of big reds. All right. Better than that. So we're down here for the next couple of days, and we're going to be hopefully cleaning our own fish up we're here. Trying to figure out what this thing scores for records. I don't know. It's called what a black it? called a black margate. Really? No one ever catches them. No one knows what it is. But it's just be interesting to know. Why don't you yeah. Google it? Well, we're, we're not that uh, technically advanced. We're working on it. We've <laughs> been Googling and, and, and all kinds of stuff. Wow. All right, so we are fixing to head to the water. I haven't been here in years and years, but I can tell you right now, this is probably what we're going to be using. Uh, that right there, it probably doesn't matter what color you use down here, as long as it's LSU colors. Purple and yellow. But seriously, what we're going to be doing, we're probably going to wind up using a float like this. But uh, this floats and it rattles up on top. The, here, the fish hear that rattle, come see the LSU bait and eat. So we're fixing to head to the boat ramp right now and get started. Alright, so we're down here in offshore a little bit, just a little bit, out of Venice, Louisiana, with Ron Price. And we have been catching some real good bull redfish today, and all of a sudden it's like cameraman said, please, can I cast? It's like, okay. And all of a sudden, look what happened. He hooks up. It's a miracle. Even a cameraman can catch a fish. How about you, Willie? Woo! ain't even a big one. He's a big fly fisherman, and so he's been asking me, well, why don't we take a fly rod out there and do it? So what do you think? I couldn't have brought this thing in on a fly rod. We'd be here next till next week. <laughs> I'd miss Thanksgiving dinner. Woo! That's a fish. All right. So, got a redfish on here, and we've been catching a whole boatload of them. These are all bull redfish. They're actually too big for us to they're not too big for us to keep in Louisiana you can keep one per day over 27 inches I don't think we've caught one that was probably under 35 inches so far but uh, they're biting so good that we're actually getting tired of catching them come on so this is what we do on our day off from hunting He's not even that big. So, I don't know about you, but tell me where you think a better place to fish is than Venice, Louisiana. Got the 
big old fish right there, don't you think? And here's how you release them. A belly flop. Why? Post below, why you think? Post below. It's to wake their butts up. So they swim back. Alright, so we went out this morning and uh, caught a whole bunch of redfish and then the weather got pretty nasty. I know it doesn't look like it's nasty, but it is. And now we got motor problems. Right there. We got motor problems, so I have no idea what we're going to do. We got a flight to catch here in a little bit. Hopefully, we're going to be able to get back and get the fish cleaned and loaded up and get this thing fixed because let me tell you something Captain Ron is not real happy right now. I've got some tannerite. That's next. Okay, so this is what we got this morning. Take a look at this. Black drum and red drum all the way down here. And so anyway, we've had a really, really good trip out here. Uh, fishing conditions weren't that good this morning, but we stopped in one spot, basically caught every one of these redfish in one spot, and then some we were letting go. So anyway, had a good trip. This is the guy down here, Ron Price, the fish intimidator. So if you ever want to come down here, you want to go catching fish, not just go fishing, but go catching fish, make sure and give him a call. And right now he's fixing to get busy. When you show up here in the afternoon about four o'clock, you can always find him back here cleaning the fish. He does a good job. All right, we got to get these guys cleaned up and then we're heading back to the airport here in a little bit. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. 